Modern day anxiety triggers have yet to be fully explored, but anxiety has always existed as a human condition. St. Patrick's Mental Health Service in Dublin has been treating anxiety disorders for over 270 years. And I was there to meet Professor Jim Lucy to find out how it's affecting Irish society today and why. So, take a seat. Thank you. Down to the questions. First one is a tough one. Mental health. Where are we with mental health in Ireland? Well, it's the biggest, uh, most important health need we have, the biggest unmet need we have. And there is no health without mental health. So it's, it's a challenge to us. The common mental health disorders like depression uh, are very common, but they're not rising. One in six of us will have a mental health disorder this year. Now, the worrying addition to that is that other areas of mental health are increasing. So self-harm is greatly increasing. Uh, anxiety disorders are greatly increasing, particularly in women. And uh, the problems of addiction uh, have become enormous. Why do you think those three are rising so rapidly? Why is speculation? My own view is that life is very stressful. We've come through a huge crisis in, in our society which isn't acknowledged. A lot, of, a lot of stress experienced over a full decade. That's longer than most world wars. The social media, the pressure of the consciousness of appearance, exposure we have to uh, the whole area of the mobile phone and all that that leads to. These are new additional stresses that we really don't yet understand, but it does seem to us likely that they're contributing to additional stresses on young people. I know that a lot of my friends definitely think that there's an increase in anxiety amongst our generation, but do you think maybe we're just the generation that talks about it more, and that, or do you think it's existed all along? I think awareness has a lot to do with it. And if young people are talking about it more, we have to celebrate that because uh, recovery is about beginning a conversation. First of all is to acknowledge what it is, it's anxiety. Where it comes from, it comes from your brain and your body and it's emerged from stuff that needs to be handled by refocusing. And then that needs to be pinned around a valuing of things. What do you really care about, Vogue? What do any of us really care about? And usually it's about who we love. I know when my anxiety was at its worst, I was taking beta blockers for a stint until I felt a bit better, but what role do you think medication plays in helping with anxiety? It's a very small role. The best treatments are not medication. Medication really has a very small role in anxiety disorder treatment. Where medication uh, is useful is very individual and uh, there are big hazards. Some medications, the benzodiazepines, were marketed from the 60s as safe treatments for anxiety. Turns out they're not safe and they're not treatments for anxiety. <laughs> I mean, you mentioned beta blockers. Beta blockers really don't do anything centrally. They just diminish the peripheral, the yeah. bodily effect of anxiety. So they're not really helping the anxiety. Well, they're good for any physical symptoms that you have. They're good for masking the physical symptoms. Yes. But they don't actually take it away and they don't help you to overcome it. I think being open about everything helps eliminate the stigma. We've begun the conversation, but we haven't begun to change society. I like to quote the example of the Norwegian Prime Minister uh, just before Margaret Thatcher was elected, declared he had depression and anxiety, and stood down to election because the opposition said he was unfit to govern. But the Norwegian people were better than that, and they voted him in with a huge majority. And he's the man who saved the oil millions of Nor Norway's seas and made them one of the richest countries in the Western world. And that was because he declared his mental health and the Norwegian people backed him. I don't know whether that would happen in our country, but I hope it would one day.